recognizing difference or pattern of first ionization energy and subsequent energy removals. So in this problem it says which ionization energy of aluminum has the greatest value, so the highest ionization energy, making it the hardest to take that electron. So the first ionization energy, so when we go from Al to Al+, plus, the second ionization energy when I take Al+, plus to Al2+, plus, so taking two, two valence electrons. Third ionization energy going from 2 plus to 3 plus, that means taking three valence electrons, and fourth meaning taking four valence electrons. So as we know, the second ionization energy is always greater than the first. That, that holds true as you go down. Third ionization energy is greater than the third, then the second, and the first, and the fourth is the greatest ionization energy. Now it's also important to remember and notice the pattern that these will go up in, in kind of even level. So the first, second, and third, because Al has three valence electrons that it is willing to give up, that it wants to, that it can give up. So it wants to give up those three valence electrons, but after that it doesn't want to give up anymore. But if it's doing fourth ionization energy, if somebody's trying to take that fourth valence electron, this jump between the third and the fourth is going to be very big. It's going to be very big. It's going to take a lot of energy, a lot more energy than just taking the third electron it wants to give away. It's going to take a lot of energy to take that fourth electron. So the jump between the third and the fourth is going to be big as opposed to the even more even jumps of first, second, and third, even though they're all increasing. So D is definitely our answer to this question.